This green juice saved my fast. And what you'll need is one bunch of dandelion greens, two cucumbers, one half of a bell pepper, a thumb of ginger, and one key lime. So how I cleanse my ingredients is I soak them in spring water, add some sea salt and key lime, allow that to soak for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. A lot of people use store-bought cleansers, but you know some of the chemicals in there, I just don't feel right. And of course, you wanna make sure you're buying organic whenever you can possible. And this green juice is one of the recipes that I've been working on and crafting and I feel like I've gotten it to perfection. The dandelion, it has that bitterness to it, but the cucumber gives it that neutral taste. It kind of removes much of that bitterness. And the key lime has the antioxidants to kind of preserve your juice and gives you that boost of energy as well as ginger. Ginger is going to help you avoid much of the nausea or headache that you may experience during a fasting session. And then I recently added the green bell pepper. It gives it that certain kick to it. Green bell pepper also has a lot of antioxidants in it. So people use the lemons, the key limes to kind of preserve their juice. Green bell pepper is another ingredient that you can use to preserve your juice. So if you're looking for a green juice that doesn't have a fruity taste to it but it's not overly bitter it's easy to stomach this is the recipe you need to make this is going to be a really great juice for your fast it's going to help feed your cells and cleanse out the digestive system What really made this a game changer for me is when I did feel like giving up at one point on the third, fourth day. And when you drink this, it kind of snapped me back to a sane state of mind. Like I remember what my objective was. It made me realize on this fast that I want to incorporate more vegetables more so than fruit, but I still go heavy on the tamarind. Let's not get it twisted. This just really brought me to life. I highly recommend you try this. Yeah, I got about 273 hours into my fast. This is the Life Fasting app. I think it's a pretty cool app. I just really use it to track my hours, not so much for the information in it, but I think it's pretty cool just to see your progress so far. But yeah, on day three, it was like getting to be a struggle for me. A lot of moving around that day, I still had to clock in to work. You know how that goes, the world doesn't stop for you, but at the same time, you can't stop for the world. I spend most of my day dry fasting. And what that is for the most part is you're working on your breath control and you're not consuming any liquids or anything of that nature. And I do that anywhere from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The thing is that nothing's really planned or scheduled for me because I don't want to get into a routine or start doing things out of habit just because I'm used to doing it, going with the flow, but having things prepared just in case works best for me. Even though I've been going with the flow, I would say I consume anywhere from 26 to 50 ounces of juice per day. Sometimes there are days where I consume even less than 26 ounces. And being in a state of mind of consuming based on what you feel you need versus what you feel you want. Before we close out the video, I wanna give a special thanks to those who bought a juicer using my code for purchase. I greatly appreciate it. You know, the extra funds, it goes back into the channel, whether it's for lighting, camera, extra SD storage, and hopefully travel very soon so we can experience more electric foods around the world. Even if the juicer was out of your budget, but you watched the video, you gave it a like, you shared it with someone who may be interested, I'm greatly appreciative of that. Again, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, 2098 Bye Diet.